Blessings. Welcome to this morning routine, although you can do this at any time of night or day. So just standing off, bringing the soles of your feet together. If you can, bring your sit bones a bit closer to the feet. Pull your butt cheeks back to tip the pelvis forward. If you can, hold on around your feet. So try and sit up, think of sitting up nice and tall, shoulders right. Remember we are a little bit stiffer first thing in the morning as well. So set the intention to be kind and compassionate to yourself. So this is just a little exercise to prepare for coming into a sitting position. So breathe nice and deeply, lift the knees up as high as you can, and imagine pressing them down towards the floor. You can close your eyes and take this time to check in. As I said, keep in mind that you're often a little bit stiffer first thing in the morning, especially if it is literally, you know, you've not long got out of bed. And so if you're a little bit like me and you have kind of uh, deep hip sockets, and so you're not that flexible around the hips, then again, this will be a little bit more challenging. So be kind and compassionate towards yourself and your body. And focus on just enjoying being in your body right now. One more nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, press the knees out, use your arms to draw, or draw your nose towards your toes. And release and come into Sukhasana, crossed leg position. Again, butt cheeks out of the way, try and cross at your shins if you need to. You can come and sit on a bolster or a block. If you see here sitting up on a bolster, my knees are a lot lower. And the thing is that, is that I can sit up more easily instead of being slouched. The last thing you want is to be kind of be slouched. Hands on your thighs and draw a big circle with your rib cage. Inhale forward, exhale out. And keep in mind there's no uh, one size fits all. There's no, oh, it must look this certain way or feel this certain way. These are just gentle movements to wake up your spine and to get your energy flowing. So your variation might not look exactly like mine and that's okay. And change direction, you might go even slower, you might go a little bit quicker. It's all good. That's why I say when you know what you're doing, close your eyes so you can feel into it rather than you know worrying too much about oh my variation doesn't look the same as hers, blah blah blah. And come back to center, bring your hands, kind of make little fists, inhale, press the elbows back, lift the chest, exhale, exhale forcefully, rounding the spine. You're going to breathe out through the mouth like you're breathing out through a blow, through a straw. Inhale, close, exhale. Keep going, I'm just going to turn sideways so you can see. So we're flexing and arching the spine, head stays in a kind of neutral position. Like a cat. Flex, normally we do this holding onto the shins. Four, three, two, one, and release. Then taking the arms out to the side, elbows level with your shoulders, inhale, little twist left, exhale to the right. Breathing in and out through the nose. Then close your eyes, take your attention inwards. 
This helps to release tension from the spine and to stretch out your intercostal muscles and get easier to breathe. Four, three, two, one, and release. Relax the hands down. Whatever foot you've got in front, switch. Bring the other foot in front and pull your butt cheeks back. Relax your arms. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder and taking your left arm, reach it around behind and try and grab hold of your right bicep. And just taking a breath or two here, stretching out your neck. And release the arms, lift the head back up. Notice how that side feels compared to the other side. And dropping left ear to left shoulder, taking that right arm around, try and grab hold of your left bicep. Again, relax the arms, stretching out the side of the neck. Okay, with each exhale, Relax even more. Still try and sit upright. Make sure you're not slouching down. And release the arms. Come back up. And with your hands, palms upwards, you're going to squeeze them. The thumbs outside. Open them wide. Then squeeze them. The thumbs inside. Open them wide. So we're going to alternate. Give it quite a nice pace. So thumbs in, thumbs out. Nice long deep breaths as you're doing that. It's good for the brain as well because you've got to kind of really pay attention to what you're doing. You'll start to feel your wrists and your arms working. And shake out the arms, shake out the wrists. Breathe in as you breathe out, take a little twist around to one side, lift up out of the waist, turn through belly, ribs, chest, looking over that shoulder. Keep stretching up to be as tall as you can, gently relaxing both knees towards the floor. Inhale, come back. Exhaling, turning the other way. And drop the shoulders away from the ears. Each time you inhale, imagine lifting up even taller. And unwinding, coming back, coming off your block. Stretch your legs out, bounce up and down a couple of times. And then circle the feet, see if you can circle them in the same direction. So you're going around the same way. Sometimes doing things just even slightly differently is really good for the brain because we get so used to doing things the same way. And when we do things differently, it's like, oh, I've really got to pay attention now. Then change direction, circling both feet around the other way. A nice deep breath, you make sure you're not slouching. Let yourself sitting up nice and tall, you're gonna flex one foot, point the other, and switch, and switch. Breathing in, and out. Again, sitting up out of the waist, shoulders down the back. Don't you draw your belly button in slightly to help engage your core so we're not kind of slouching here. In and out. And shake out the legs again. Come over onto your hands and knees. Hands under the shoulders. And just turn the hands inwards, fingers inwards. 
So the fingers are pointing each other. Squeeze the fingers together and just gently shift side to side to stretch out your wrist. Try and make sure you're pressing into the whole hand, not just the heel of the hand. So the balls of the fingers, the backs of the knuckles. Then bring the backs of the hands to the mat and press into the whole hand. So imagine pressing down into your fingers, fingernails, knuckles. Then bring the hands underneath the shoulders and bring the knees a little bit closer. Relax the shoulders. Inhale, lift your tailbone, draw your heart forward. Exhale, arching out, lift through the back of the body. Breathe in, flex. Breathe out, arch. As you're doing that, keeping the arms straight. So it's just the spine warming up the front and back of the body. And just start to go a little bit quicker, breathing in and out, and in and out. touch the back of the head, make sure you're not bending the elbows, breathe in. As you breathe out, imagine bringing that knee towards that elbow. And now take it up behind you, look slightly forward. Exhale, take it out, bring it towards the elbow, engage your core. One more, inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring it to that elbow and try and bring the foot outside the hand. If you can't quite make it, pick it up and carry it. Adjust back knee if you need to, coming to a lizard variation. So if you can, keep your hands flat. If not, use blocks. Try and relax the shoulders. And imagine hugging that right knee in towards your right arm and pressing the arm against the knee at the same time. Keep sinking your hips down towards the floor. So adjust the back knee if you can, if you need to. Press that back a little bit. There we go. Nice strong stretch for your hips and inner thighs. One more nice deep breath in. And out. And climb up the leg. Imagine hugging the thighs into the midline. So ease off a little bit. Lift your chest as if you're leaning backwards. Squeeze your butt. Then come into your lunge, your low lunge. We're going to reach the arms up. Palms are facing forward. Reach through the fingertips. Drop the shoulders away from the ears. If you've got tight shoulders, take the arms out slightly. Keep lifting through the chest, lifting through the chin, but without, without any tension in your jaw. Hug the thighs into the midline, stretching out the front of the body. So inhale, reach up. Imagine your arms like an extension of the spine. Exhale, soften those shoulders. And on your next exhale, take it into a twist. So ticking your left hand to the outside of your right leg. You get here, really press the knee out at the same time, pull the arm in. So you're using the arm as a lever. So you're pulling the hand against the knee at the same time you're pressing the knee against the hand to turn through the belly, chest, ribs. You might be able to tuck your other hand on your back thigh, or you might wrap it around behind you. Whatever works for you, looking behind you. One more nice full deep breath in there and out. Unwind. 
bring the hands down, tuck the back toe under, whoops, sorry, down, straighten that leg, firm up the thighs, and lift up into a crescent lunge. Bring the arms around and up, same arms, so arms are forward, palms forward, reach up, relax the shoulders. And get a sense that you're kind of leaning back, stretch through that back heel, stretch the front thigh forward. So really energizing the body, nice deep breath in, and out. And from here, plant your back foot and open out into a little warrior. If you need to, you can adjust that back foot. So it's in alignment with that front foot, knee over ankle, tailbone tucked under, open out into the hips. Turn the hands palms forward today. Draw your shoulder blades in towards the spine. Inhale from the feet to the crown of your head. Exhale, bend a little more deeply. If that front knee goes way over, your ankle, wiggle it forward. Straighten the legs, turn the toes, arms forward, breathe in, exhale, fold over the legs. And as I said, palms forward, I mean toes forward, coming into Prasarita, Padottanasana, wide angle forward bend, holding on to your ankles or wherever you can. Reach, lift your toes, feel that stretch in your inner thighs. Imagine trying to aim the crown of the head towards the floor. Hmm. And after you exhale, take the hands over to the right, turn back to the front of the mat into a lunge, drop the back knee to the floor, untuck the toes, and come back onto your hands and knees and come into a child's pose. Just for a breath or two, arms down beside you, forehead on the floor, chest and belly to thighs, palms upwards, feel that stretch along your spine, nice full deep breath in, expanding your ribs. As you breathe out, imagine your inner organs relaxing down into your thighs. After you breathed out completely, come back, come back onto your hands and knees, hands under shoulders, knees slightly narrower, inhale, heart forward, cat flex, exhale, arching up, draw your belly button to your spine, really tuck your tailbone under, inhale, stretch the front of the body, exhale, back of the body, breathing in and out and in. And out, come back to neutral, lift your left leg up. You can imagine almost like you're about to touch the back of your head. Breathe in. As you breathe out, imagine bringing that knee towards the elbow. Soften your elbow slightly, engage your core. And inhale, lift it up, look forward. Exhale, bring that knee in. Squeeze belly button to spine, press into all 10 fingertips. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, bring that knee in, then step or carry that foot forward. Try and slide the back knee back as much as you can. Left hand is inside that foot. Press that knee in, press the arm back against the knee. Try and slide shoulder blades away from ears. Head is in a neutral position, so focus more on hips here. Squeeze your butt. Imagine trying to melt your heart down towards the floor. So opening up into the hips. Mwah. Mwah. And breathing all the way out. Then climbing up. Hug the thighs into the midline. Ease off a little bit. Lift 
to the chest, squeeze your tush, then come back, make sure this knee doesn't go over the toes. Reach the arms up, palms forward. Lift the chin slightly if it feels okay to do so, as long as there's no tension in your neck. Again, if your shoulders are really tight, like I've got limited movement in my shoulders, take the arms into more of a V shape. And imagine your arms like an extension of the spine. So really reach up, don't kind of like be half-hearted with those arms. Take another breath in. As you breathe out, take a twist. So right hand to the outside of that knee. Press your hand firmly against the knee. Press the knee firmly against the hand. Turning through belly, chest, ribs. Drawing that back shoulder back. Again, either hold on to the thigh or wrap the arm around behind you, whatever works for you. After your next exhale, unwind. Hands to floor, tuck back to under. Straighten leg, firm up the thighs before you lift up into up by lunge. I always want to bring that foot in just a little bit, that's okay. Reach arms up. Stretch through back heel, bend the back knee a little bit, then stretch through the heel, stretch the front thigh forward, open up through your chest, reach arms up, relax shoulders down, breathe in, as you breathe out, open that back foot, and if you need to adjust it, so your heel is roughly in line with the other heel, turn your hands, palms forward, relax the shoulders, Press that knee out, open out the hips and groin. Nice deep breath in. As you breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. And come up, turn your toes to the forward. Breathe in, as you breathe out, slide your hands down your legs towards your feet. Holding on wherever you can, lift your thigh muscles, lift your kneecaps. Hmm. And take the hands over to the left, a little lateral stretch, then spin yourself around into a lunge. Drop the back knee, scoot this leg back. And come back into a lasana, child's pose, forehead on the floor, chest to thighs, palms upwards. Nice deep breath in. And all the way out. Once more, breathe in as deeply as you can. And then all the way empty. And slowly ease yourself up to sitting, bring your palms together, hands to heart, heart to hands, take a little bow to seal your practice and you are ready for the rest of your day. That was day. I hope you enjoyed it as much as Mr. Brumble Stiltskin and I enjoyed sharing it with you. <laughs> Enjoy! Blessings. Mwah.